Hello and welcome to the Leister Hot Wind System teaching video. The aim of this video should be to understand the full scope of this tool. At the nameplate you can see the voltage, the amps and the power of the tool, including serial number and item number. At the tool you will find two potentiometer buttons. One is for the airflow and the other one is for the heat. Instead of using the buttons, you could use the interface for remote control. The five pins above are for the heat, the five pins below are for the airflow. The plug is included. The main button has different functions. As soon as you switch on the tool, the fan will run with at least 200 liters per minute. Now we have two options to switch off the tool. The first one is the automatically cool down function. or with immediately switch off. You have different options to set up the tool. What you want to see in the display. Using the buttons or the interface for the heat. using the buttons or the interface for the airflow. And if you want to activate the internal controller for an internal closed loop system. Let's go through the different steps.
we can use the interface to control the tool from far away, especially if the tool is hidden in a machine. For this we need a signal and 24 volt DC. This we have to bring for the heat and or for the airflow. Lyser offers two controllers. Both have the same functions, but different housings and different connections. The Leister CSS Easy and also the CSS both are able to bring out the signal 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamps and also the 24 volt DC for feeding the interface. Default setting is always 4 to 20 milliamps. In case you want to use the 0 to 10 volt signal, then the controller needs a special configuration. At the user manual of the CSS, you will find the description of all ports. So the outcoming wires of the CSS have to go into the interface of the hot wind system. Here you will find five ports for the heating and five ports for the airflow. Also, the airflow can be controlled remotely. In case you would like to work with the signal of 0 to 10 volt, then please wire up as follow. As you can see, the ground of the 24 volt DC and the ground of the 0 to 10 volt is the same port. For to get an actual temperature signal at the controller, you need an external thermocouple. You cannot use the internal thermocouple at the hot wind system.
the thermocouple for almost all types are connected between port 1 and 2. Let's start with the six options to control it. Option 1. With the potentiometer for controlling the power of the heating element. Option 2. With the potentiometer to regulate the temperature of the outlet air. Option 3. We can regulate the power of the heating element, but not with the potentiometer knob. We do it from far away, uh, remote control. Option 4. We control the air of the process external with the external controller from far away. Option 5. We want to use the internal temperature controller, but we want to control it from far away, remote control. Option 6, which is actually no option. Two controller after each other will not work proper. We do not recommend to do it like this. For all these options you have to configure the hot wind system by programming the tool. Option 1 With the potentiometer you regulate the power of the heater, not the temperature directly. The temperature is just a result of it. Option 2. Because of an internal closed loop system, you regulate with the potentiometer knob the outlet temperature directly.
option 3. Now we have two open loop systems. So with the signal we regulate the power of the heater, not the temperature directly. The temperature is just a result of it. Option 4 Now we regulate the temperature external with the external controller. This external controller works in closed loop. For this the hot wind system has to work in open loop. The hot wind system works now in open loop and the controller has to work in closed loop. Now you can see the set temperature and the actual temperature at the controller. So the hot wind is now just a slave and you can see at the display how much power it receives from the controller. You can still see the internal actual temperature at the hot wind, but this temperature has no function. Option 5 
the hot wind system is doing the temperature regulation internal that we control it remotely. The controller is now working in open loop, so we do not need an external actual temperature. The hot wind system is doing the controlling. option 6, which is actually no option. The hot wind system is doing the temperature controlling internal. And also the external controller is doing an external temperature regulation. So two temperature regulations, one after the other, are confusing each other. This will not work proper. The hot wind system has an alarm contact to show an overheat situation of the hot wind system. This contact is potential free, means this is just a switch. There is no electricity on it. So this alarm contact is for free use, so you can connect a lamp, a sound, or you can connect it with your PLC. So this contact is normally open. 
So as soon as you plug in the tool to the main power, the alarm contact will close. This switch will react as soon as the hot wind system has an overheat situation, first of all of the heating element or also for the housing. So this contact will get open and also the heating element will switch off automatically. The blower will keep running, this means the tool will cool down. To restart the tool, you have to switch off and on the power. The inlet filter protects the turbine for damaging. With the handle and the protection tube, the hot wind system can also be used for a hand tool. Thanks for watching. I'm not afraid to